natural remedies and the Soaky products to keep you breathing freely because it's allergy time. Spring's going to be here before we know it. And there's two major symptoms we get with allergies. One is rhinitis and one is chronic sinusitis. And rhinitis, allergic rhinitis is acute inflammation of the nose, ears, and throat. It affects about 7% of the population. And seasonal allergic rhinitis usually happens for people that are, um, have allergies to pollen, dust, animal dander, or mold. Um, Non-seasonal would be like the dust, animal dander, and mold, and seasonal would be like pollen. Non-allergic rhinitis also can occur from chemical irritants. Chronic sinusitis is inflammation of the sinuses, which affects about 13% of the population. So many of the symptoms of allergic rhinitis are sneezing, runny or stuffy nose, itchy nose, watery or itchy eyes. You may notice during allergy time, you've got dark circle under your eyes or you've got some headaches or sinus headaches and pressure. <clears throat> you may have a sore or scratchy throat or coughing. You may have some digestive irritation from gas, loss of appetite and abdominal discomfort and maybe you have some skin problems or excessive fatigue. Hay fever is a seasonal allergic rhinitis. It usually occurs during very specific seasons of the year, like as we're approaching spring. It's usually almost always caused by pollen, by pollen, tree and grass pollens, as well as pollen from flowers like ragweed, plantain, and dandelion. Those are common culture culprits, but basically allergic rhinitis is seasonal and it's usually caused by pollen. Other forms of rhinitis, um, non-seasonal, could be allergies to dust, dust mites, animal dander, feathers, mold. Non-allergic rhinitis could be reactions to chemicals such as those in household cleaning, agents, cosmetics, perfumes, and other chemicals. So when we have these allergic reactions, we kind of reach for antihistamines because um, antihistamines block the action of histamines in the body. Um, common side effects of antihistamines include dizziness, drowsiness, and sometimes your mucus will get a little thick, um, which makes the music, mucus harder to excrete. Other side effects are rare, but they do happen where you may get some headaches, malaise, constipation, and dry mouth. <clears throat> when we're in allergy season and we're trying to deal with it, one of the best things you can do <clears throat> is stay hydrated. So mucus in our body traps these irritants and tears wash away irritants, which is why your eyes and water and you get really mucusy. Dehydration results in dry membranes in the eyes, which prevents the irritants from being flushed. And histamine draws water to these tissues. So if you take a pinch of natural salt with several glasses of water, it's going to help flush these irritants out of your body. There are some natural antihistamines that you can try, like bitter orange peel. It contains a natural antihistamine Sinephrine, which dries up excess mucus secretion and acts as a metabolic stimulant. Nettle leaf, which is my favorite. I take that almost every day during allergy season, two in the morning and two at night. It contains histamine, but it reduces the histamine reactions in the body. So it helps to desensitize the mast cells in your body and it really calms down your allergic reactions. I'm really allergic to pollen, and when things start blooming, I have a really hard time with watery eyes, runny nose, and nettle leaf really helps me. Other things you can take to keep your body strong are vitamin C. Um, it doesn't block histamine reaction, but it does help break it down. It's also very anti-inflammatory, so um, you may want to consider adding 1,000 milligrams um, a couple times a day. Also, quercetin is a bioflavonoid that helps to stabilize mast cells. It works really well in combination with vitamin C. 
It's also found in many foods that are rich in vitamin C, like red onions, red apples, <clears throat> grapes, berries, and cherries. Elderberries are also a source of quercetin, and they also has a decongestant and anti-allergic reaction. Eyebright's a really interesting herb and a great herb. It's very um, mild, astringent herb, which tones and tightens. It really helps your body calm the inflammatory reaction. And it's very helpful um, if your mucus is very thin and watery, you've got a lot of drainage, you've got itchy nose, red and itchy eyes. It combines very well with nettle leaf for easing upper respiratory allergies and irritation. So if you're really running, um, eye break can be really beneficial. Other herbs are mullein or mulin and that helps to protect our mucous membranes, preventing them from triggering allergic reactions. Herba Santa is also a really good decongestion for plug sinuses. Um, and I take mullein and nettle leaf. I really love them. You can also try homeopathy. Um, many people have found that um, giving diluted doses of remedies that can cause allergic-like symptoms can desensitize your immune system so at that it learns to no longer re overreact to the allergens in the area. So there's many different homeopathics on the market. So you can look for a homeopathic that triggers what you're allergic to. You also may be able to find homeopathic remedies for local pollen, dust mold, animal dander, and other sources of irritation. There's a company out there I really like called Allergena, and they make um, homeopathic medicines based on um, your geography and the areas that you live. If you've never tried them, they work really, really well. In fact, when I'm traveling, I'll get a bottle for the area I'm going to, <clears throat> especially when I'm traveling during the winter to a warmer climate because my body's definitely not used to anything blooming. And they also have uh, homeopathics for um, animal allergies. You can also try bee pollen and honey. Um, many people say that if you take local bee pollen internally, it can diminish pollen allergies. So if you decide to go this route, you wanna take a very small amount, just a few grains, and work up to several capsules a day. You can also try using locally grown honey, which has not been filtered to remove the pollen and add that to your daily diet. Maybe you wanna put it in your coffee or your tea. People that get sinusitis usually have more of a thick nasal discharge, post nasal drainage. Um, their nose is really stuffy, so it's hard to breathe through the nose. They have reduced sense of taste and smell. They have pain and pressure around the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, and the forehead. Sometimes they'll even have air pain coughing, sore throats, and fatigue. <clears throat> There's um, acute and chronic sinusitis. Acute sinusitis usually occurs um, because of an infection. Um, white mucus, they say, is usually viral. Yellow mucus may be bacterial. Chronic sinusitis could be bacterial, but it's often fungal. So many people that are fighting sinus infections have found it beneficial to use nasal sprays or washes like salt water or liquid silver. Or you may wanna take something like golden seal and echinacea internally to help your body fight the infection. You can also use steam, steam inhalation or inhale from a bottle of essential oils. Eucalyptus, tea tree, Douglas fir, sweet orange, Ravensera, Pine, thyme, and rosemary are very beneficial. If you wanna do a steam, you're gonna just get a bottle, um, boil some water, put it in a bowl, put a couple drops of oil in the bowl, cover your head with a towel and breathe deeply. Um, rhythmic breathing usually is beneficial. In through your nose really slow, pause, and then exhale. There's also some natural sinus decongestants like fenugreek and thyme. It's one of the best combinations for decongesting the sinuses, easing sinus pressure and headaches. Herbicana is a good general decongestant. Horseradish, if you want to um, decongest, have some horseradish or some cayenne pepper and heat up the body to help your sinuses and digestion. 
and golden seal again can help fight infections. But you also want to take a look at what's causing your allergies. Is it seasonal allergies from pollen or do we have um, non-seasonal allergies or chemical allergies? So take a look at what's around you in your house, like respiratory irritants, toxic household cleaning products. Um, so use natural products wherever possible. If you're sanding or dusting, wear a dust mask. If air pollution is a problem in your area, considering installing some type of air filtration system. And make sure you're changing your furnace filters um, regularly. You also may want to take a look at food because um, foods um, will hypersensitize the immune system as well. Common foods that cause uh, contribute to respiratory problems are mostly dairy and wheat. Some foods that may contribute be a contributing factor um, after eating. If you're wondering if it's dairy or wheat, you may notice you get dark circle under your eyes. You have redness of the ears, face, or eyes. You have a glossy look, an increased pulse. You feel very bloated. You have fatigue or mood changes. So you want to start reading your labels and avoid um, food additives. So um, we don't want to keep um, ingesting chemicals. So when we look at allergies, allergies and sinusitis involve an inflammatory response by the body. And remedies that can reduce inflammation in the body may be very helpful like vitamin C or vitamin A and D or MSM or CoQ10 or Magenstein or turmeric with curcumin. Those are great systemic inflammation reducers. You also want to take a look at your gut health because our gut is 70 to 80 percent of our immune system and the Chinese associate both the colon and the lungs with the metal element which is the body's ability to defend itself so imbalances in the microbes of the GI tract, intestinal inflammation, constipation, and a widening of the gaps in the intestinal membrane, known as leaky gut, can contribute to problems with the respiratory system. So if you're continually having problems with the respiratory system, you may want to take a look at your gut and consider doing a colon cleanse seasonally or a couple times a year. A lot of people find um, digestive enzymes helpful, um, especially bromelain, a protein digestive enzyme from pineapple, can be very helpful for allergies. Um, you can also try to eliminate some unfriendly microbes with berberine or cinnamon. Um, if you're not feeling well and you are inflamed, you definitely want to eliminate simple carbohydrates, especially refined sugar and bacillus coagulans or any other probiotics or probiotic rich fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha may be beneficial. So when we're looking at allergic reactions, you know, we, we have to try to understand them. So an overly sensitive immune system overreacts to substances and those could be seasonal allergies, toxins, foods, chemicals. Our immune system overproduces antibodies. Um, are the mast cells in our immune system release histamine, which causes inflammation. And the symptoms are designed to flush the irritating substances away from the eyes, nasal passages, and sinuses. <clears throat> so when histamine is produced at a normal amount, it's good. It contributes to how our organs function. But however, high amounts can impact your circulation, um, increase your heart rate, expand your blood vessels, cause your muscles to contract and cause <clears throat> a lot of swelling. And that's when allergic reactions get bad and we get into situations with anaphylaxis. So poor circulation definitely affects our health because it reduces the supply of nutrients and oxygen to our cells. And this can create various symptoms in our body, um, depending on what part of our body is affected. And it also um, occurs with allergies. So what are the things that we can do to improve circulation, to improve how our body handles allergies or any other type of inflammation? 
Well, we can exercise because exercise helps circulation as it increases blood flow. It gets the heart pumping, the blood all throughout the body, and it helps the body flush um, toxins and everything out. Um, studies have been done and shown that regular cardiovascular exercise is associated with improved cardiovascular performance and lower blood pressure. So if you're not doing some type of movement on a daily or several times a week basis, like walking, jogging, gardening, dancing, um, you need to start doing that. Um, yoga or Tai Chi, yoga postures improve flexibility, balance, and heart health. Um, eating healthy fats or taking omega-3 fatty acids um, promotes cardiovascular health and improves circulation. Drinking green tea, um, the antioxidants in green tea promote cardiovascular health and may improve circulation. And if you're smoking, stop smoking. But the Soaky products we all know are great for improving and supporting overall circulation. And no matter what you have, allergic rhinitis or non-allergic rhinitis or sinusitis, keeping your circulation moving and combating the inflammation going on in your body is crucial and the Soaky products can help you do that. The Chi Machine creates movement which improves our overall circulation and blood flow, the flow of our lymphatic system, and it also promotes relaxation and deep breathing. And if you're having problems with allergies, um, adding some of those essential oils in a diffuser or an inhaler and breathing in the scent or putting them on your chest so you can breathe them in and like uh, fractionated coconut oil, it's really going to help um, the body even further. The ERE is based on acupressure and reflexology, which helps stimulate and promote overall circulation by targeting specific areas in your feet. It's also very relaxing, and when you reduce your stress, you improve circulation and you give your immune system a boost. The Soaky Fur Dome and the Fur Pad um, is a gentle warmth um, that goes deep into our tissues, expanding our capillaries and locally promoting circulation. And the e-power is the battery charger for the body. It's energy that resonates with our cells and it travels from our skin into our cells, promoting overall balance in the body and improving overall function. So remember to help with allergies, there's herbal remedies, homeopathic remedies, check out Allergena, essential oil remedies, um, there's beta low, avoid um, allergens that are airborne, food and cleaning, personal products, and take precautions if you do have seasonal allergies during that time of year. And use the Soaky products on a daily basis because they really help your body combat everything that's thrown at us every single day. And focus on strengthening your heart because that will help increase your overall blood flow as well as improving your body's oxygen supply. It also builds up functions in your organs, which can work to decrease the chances of your allergic reactions becoming severe when triggered. So having good circulation um, helps with everything that we do. So if you're a distributor, put your distributor ID number in this video, like and share it, um, so you can be entered for the drawing for the fur pad. And um, today, through the 20th, the Chi Machine will be on special for $4.65. So I hope everybody learned something in this um, video tonight. And um, remember how grateful we are for the Soaky products. Uh, the Soaky products changed my life in 2005. I've been sharing them for the last 18 years now. Um, and they're amazing products and we're um, lucky to have them and lucky to be able to share them. So have a great um, night. Uh, thanks for joining me. It is St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. I got my little green bracelet on. Uh, my grandma was Irish and she was very near and dear to my heart.